In this section, we're going to look at networks, home and small business networks, how you connect to them, how you can manage them, and how you can use them to share files and documents. Now, if your computer is connected to your broadband internet router via a physical network cable, then you'll probably find that you have a live internet connection the moment you uh, turn your computer on and log in. If, on the other hand, you connect via a Wi-Fi wireless connection, uh, such as you're on a laptop, then you'll need to connect to an appropriate Wi-Fi network manually. Now, in a previous uh, section, I talked about the Windows 7 taskbar. You can see it here that runs along the bottom of your screen and the network icon in the bottom right-hand corner. Now, if we hover over this with our mouse, it tells us that we're not currently connected to any network, but that network connections are available. And it's that little yellow star that lets us know that network connections are available. If we click on this icon, it brings up a list of available networks. Now, you'll probably know the name of the network connection that you want to access. And you can also see the signal strength here. This one here has no signal or a very, very weak signal. This one has an excellent signal, and this is the one we want to connect to. So we'll click on it. Now Windows is asking, do we always want to connect automatically to this network? If we leave this tick box uh, ch uh, ticked, then whenever Windows starts, it will automatically seek out this network and connect to it if possible. So let's press the connect button. Now, wireless networks will normally be protected by a password, and you should make sure that you have a password on your own wireless network. Here it's now asking us for this security key password. You can find out how to set the password for your own home wireless network in the help documentation for your wireless router. You can choose to hide the password as well. So let's type that in and press OK when we're happy. When we're connected, uh, Windows may ask you what type of network we're actually connected to. Now I've connected to this network before, so we'll, we can see here that it's a home network with a little picture of a home and it's telling us that we have internet access. If we click the Open Network and Sharing Centre link at the bottom of that, we can see here it's a home network and we can change this if needs be. If we click on the Home Network link, we'll see and you may be asked this automatically the first time you connect to a network that Windows 7 has never connected to before. Is it a home network? Is it a work network? Or is it a public network? And Windows 7 will automatically put additional security in place if it's a public network that you're connecting to. So you should be prepared to see this. There's also a tick box to tell Windows to treat all networks that you connect to as public in the future and not asking you again. Now, speaking of home networks, in the next segment we're going to look at how you can create a home group. You can use home groups to share files and documents in the home. Home groups are a new feature within Windows 7 that allow any PCs in the home that are running Windows 7 to easily share files, documents and other devices such as printers. You access home groups in the control panel or by typing home group into the start menu search box. In the control panel, click on network and internet and you'll see here uh, the home group options. Click on home group. Now Windows 7 is telling us here that there currently is no home group on the network but it's giving us uh, options to uh, find out more about home groups or create one. Let's create a home group. Now Windows will ask you now what you want to share from this computer across the home group and this can be personalized depending on uh, each on each computer. Let's say here we want to share pictures, music, videos, printers, but we don't want to share the individual documents on this computer. One, you can uh, simply tick and untick options to uh, select what you want to share. Click Next when you're ready. Now any files and documents that are shared will still be stored on the local machine, but they'll be available uh, for access from any other of the machines on the home group network. Now, Windows 7 has uh, given us a password, and you should write this down and keep a copy safe. 
If you want to uh, join uh, this home group from any other computer on your home network, you'll need to type in this password, and we'll look at this in the next uh, segment. You only need to set up a home group on one computer in your home network and once that's done all of the other computers can connect to it and share documents, files, videos, photos and even printers. In the network and internet section of the control panel click on home group. Now we'll see here that another computer has created a home group on the network and we can press the join now button to connect to it. Again, Windows 7 will ask us what we want to share with this home group from this computer. So let's say we want to share everything on the computer. Pictures, music, video, documents and printers. Click the next button and it'll ask us to type in the password that the other computer gave us when we created the homework, uh, home group. Type this password in and press the next button. We've now joined this home group, so click finish when you're ready. Now, the home group panel is telling us what it is we're sharing, we can see here, and it's giving us other options. We can view or print the home group password, for instance, and it's showing us here what it is. There's a print this page button. You can change the password for the home group to anything that you want, but try and keep it secure because the home group does give access to your documents and your personal files. You can leave the home group if you want to, by clicking this button. And if you're having trouble with the home group, there's a home group troubleshooter which can help uh, sort out any problems that Windows is having connecting to a home group on your, uh, on your home network. Now as I say, with home group, it, it allows you to share documents. Uh, documents aren't actually copied to other computers on the network. You um, access them remotely from those other computers, which means that if you want to access a document or a file or a video that's stored on another computer, that computer will need to be switched on. In the next segment, we're going to look at some of the more advanced sharing uh, options in Windows, in Windows 7. Once you've created a home group and the other computers on your home network have joined that home group, you want to be able to share files and documents, videos and photos between those computers. In the control panel, in the network and internet section, click on choose home group and sharing options. This takes us back to the main home group panel in which we can choose what we want to share from this particular computer and you may want to change these options on each computer um, in your home. Also in Windows Explorer which by default takes you to your libraries view, more on that in a, uh, a future section, you can right click on any folder and choose the share with options to uh, choose precisely who and uh, what computers this is shared with. Let's say we want to go to this folder here which isn't by default shared on a home group because of where it is stored. We can still share it across the home group quite easily. Do we want people just to be able to read the files or do we want people to be able to write and modify the files as well? So you can choose the appropriate option and simply click on that and it'll say uh, ask do we really want to share the items or no we don't and we'll say yes we do and uh, that folder there and all of the documents contained within it are now shared. Now how do you actually access documents that are shared across the network? Well you'll see here in the left hand pane of Windows Explorer a home group option. If you click on home group it will show you uh, the computers that are on your home home network and if you click on that it'll take you to all of the documents, videos, uh, music and pictures that are shared um, across your home network. In the last uh, segment of this section we're going to look at how you can manage your home or small business network connection.
So far in this section, we've looked at how you can connect to a network and how you can create and control a home group sharing files and documents across that network. But you're going to want to be able to manage your network as well. There are several ways to get to these settings. You can do so in the control panel. In the network and internet section, click on network and sharing center. A faster way to get to these settings though is by clicking on the network icon in the bottom left, uh, bottom right of the Windows 7 taskbar and then clicking on the open network and sharing center link. Now the network and sharing center gives you uh, a lot of information about the network you're connected to. You can see uh, the network you're connected to here and we can say it's a home network. If this is wrong or if we want to change it perhaps to a public network we can click on that link and we can choose what we want to change it to. We can see here that we have internet access and we are connected to a home group. If we click joined it'll take us to the home group uh, main panel. We can also see the wireless network connection that we have here. Now if we click on this connections link it'll bring up information about the actual network connection status that we have. We can see the signal strength we can see the speed and you'll be able to see here if um, you actually have an active connection if it's saying zero then it could be there could be a problem with that connection if there is a problem with that connection there is a diagnose button down the bottom here where you wouldn't and if you click on this it will automatically run a troubleshooter to uh, try and get you access um, uh, across your network and trying to solve any problems that there are if you're on a wireless network there's also a wireless properties uh, button here and you can change the options to automatically connect to the network when it's in range and various other options on that panel. You may also want to disconnect from the network so let's see how we do that. There are several ways. If you're on a wireless network then you will uh, right click on the uh, network connection you've got in the the Wi-Fi networks panel from the network icon on the taskbar and select disconnect. Also in the network and sharing op uh, sharing center we have a connect or disconnect option and that again will bring us straight to this uh, uh, to this section where we can click on the network and press disconnect to disconnect from that network and the network and sharing center now is telling us that we're not connected to any network at all so we can reconnect quite simply also at the bottom of the network and sharing center you'll see there's a link to troubleshoot problems Windows 7 contains a great many automated troubleshooters that uh, you may find extremely useful and if you click on troubleshoot problems here it will uh, give us all sorts of options for various troubleshooters. Are we having trouble with shared folders, home group, uh, incoming connections or internet connections and clicking on the appropriate link will run the uh, the relevant automated troubleshooter. That's all for this section. In the next section we're going to look at how you work with Windows uh, files and folders.